And there it is. Most likely this would be the access portal. It's the driveway to New York Life Building. And you can see it stretching out ahead. We're probably right around the border of Waltham and West. And it kind of looks like there's actually something of a worn path. It's a nice pasture, a little spot beyond the uh, high power lines. So yeah, that's the access point off of Route 20. I think that would work out fine. Not a lot of traffic here. And really, the real meat of the thing now looms ahead. I wonder if there's been much done to work on it. There'll be an ancient overpass bridge that I'll come to at some point soon. That's the real border of Waltham and Weston. And it looks like the track has been pulled out of here. But it reappears after the bridge. on the rail. Didn't take long. It's like there's a pile here. So it's hopelessly overgrown. But nonetheless present. We even have some abandoned switch remnants that have been pulled. This is probably all waiting for a scrap haul. Lots of wormwood. Yeah, see here's the tracks. <coughs> it's a pretty wide right of way. It's about 80 feet wide. I discovered further ahead in Weston. So it's quite a lot to work with. There we go. There's a convenient service access, unimproved road running along the edge anyway. So I was able to bypass the really dense stuff. But nonetheless, it is fun to actually follow the rails as much as possible. Eyes look long since buried with a few really ancient ones tossed up from the side.
Ah, and there's the overpass bridge, killer. I'm going to try to use it, but it could be completely terrifying. We'll see. This goes over the other active railroad line that ultimately heads to Fitchburg, goes through Concord, South Afton. I'll be riding it back later today at the Kendall Green Station. Head back over to this little service road. Again, Let's see what we got. That plastic strip thing is what the Commonwealth uses to mark the edge of the right of way. Elsewhere, up in further ahead in West End. It's quite a corridor. It's a perfect day. An easy bus ride out of Central Square, Cambridge is all I needed to get here. This should be interesting. Now it's a cool old device to let engineers know that the load was too tall for the bridge. Kind of simple, but it worked. It's amazing what they have to do now to keep people in trucks from going up on the Starro Drive. <laughs> Back in the old days, they could just use that thing. What a lovely old rustic bridge. Yeah, it does appear to get used by joggers and pedestrians to a degree and that's the working Fitchburg line below. 